Hello, this is Dan from Cyber Vigilance, and today we'll be doing part one of a three part series of threat hunting and incident response with Sentinel One. Um, and in this video, we'll be doing a basic incident test with an ICAR test file. Now, an ICAR test file was an industry standard test file for antivirus programs and endpoint protection. Um, ICAR is detected as malicious in Sentinel One, but it's not designed to harm your device. But as with anything you download, it, you download it at your own risk. So we're going to head over to Sentinel's tab and into policy. I'm currently running detect detect. I would not recommend this for production at all, um, as it could mean uh, other endpoints that you do not want to be infected um, could be infected by um, an active threat. So we're going to move over to incidents here. And these are past tests that I've done, so these are not current, current threats. And move over to my Windows VM here. And we're going to download icar underscore com dot zip. And as you can see here, Sentinel-1 instantly picks up as a threat. We will head over to our incidents tab. It should show up in any second. There you go. Um, here is the, the non-mitigated threat of icar underscore com dot zip. And you can see the endpoint is actually lit up as red. This means there's an active threat on this endpoint. Um, so we're going to go into threat details. Threat details gives you the full rundown of the threat that has been uh, downloaded onto the device. A quick thing with um, the incidents tab, you can press group by hash. Um, these group known that the, the same threat um, in multiple instances together. Um, so hashes are actually grouped by default. I had it off just, just for this video. Um, so when you have it grouped, it allows for a response to multiple instances of potentially malicious, potentially malicious hash, hash signatures um, as a group. Uh, so for instance, if there was like a Trojan being spread around your enterprise and you need to respond to all the incidents as a group, you can group by hash and respond to them quickly without having to click every single one individually. So we'll move back onto the, um, the threat view tab. So the threat details tab, press on actions. So we're going to run through how to mitigate this. Press mitigation actions, press quarantine. Kill will automatically be enabled, so it will destroy the process. Um, press markers resolved. It's a true positive as, as it is detected as malicious, and we know that it's supposed to be malicious. Um, a note here, or you can type in anything you need for an, other SOC analysts or anyone that has access to the management console. Press apply. Now it is automatically done this instantly. It, it might not show up as green on the GUI straight away, but it has worked already. Um, and you can see it's been mitigated there. And this shows up as green. So that is how you do a basic incident test with an ICAR test file. Um, and it's been successfully mitigated.